G'day cocktail lovers, I hope you've been keeping well. Hope you're ready for something a little different today. What I'm doing today is inspired by a video I saw recently on the Cocktail Chemistry channel. He does quite a lot of interesting things and there was a video recently where he made cocktails for his Indian father-in-law and so they were a lot of spiced cocktails to appeal to his father-in-law and he did a particular version of a bottled old-fashioned where he made his own syrup and I thought I like that idea and I also saw Uncle Pete on Uncle Pete's cocktail shop doing an Angostura cordial and just this idea of all making these things with special flavors I, I, I want to do some of that and so I'm not going to do the recipe that Cocktail Chemistry did but it is heavily inspired by him so the first thing I needed to do was to make the sugar syrup part now when Cocktail Chemistry made it he actually reduced his down by 50% so it was a very thick rich caramel I didn't want to do it that much but I did reduce it by about 50% so the ingredients were pretty simple I did 150 mils of tea just the tea of your choice I, I used a tea that we had here in the kitchen and 150 mils of brown sugar I actually used an unrefined coconut sugar that I had and purely simply put that on the heat dissolve the sugar turn it up a little bit you want it to bubble for a while because we're reducing it now uh, with him he left it for 10 minutes to reduce by half I did it for about five or six minutes reduced by about a quarter so that was as thick as I wanted it I had also thrown in some cinnamon sticks he flavored his with bay leaves I thought I'm gonna flavor mine with cinnamon I'm gonna have a dark sugar cinnamon sugar syrup dark cinnamon sugar syrup what would be the best way cinnamon dark sugar syrup something like that but that's what I had now the idea is I'm going to make a whole bottle's worth of an old-fashioned so I decided to actually mix some of my whiskies so here's what we're going with we're going with 200 mils of Wild Turkey 101 uh, just over 100 proof a bourbon whiskey 200 mils of an Australian rye from the gospel there's the gospel projects a collaboration they did with Black Heart and Sparrows a local bottle shop uh, this is almost 57% alcohol it's a choice drop so 200 mils of this in the bottle and finally for some smoky notes we do this Starwood small batch this is their mesquite smoked single malt this is 55% alcohol so 110 proof so this is a pretty proofy uh, old-fashioned is what I'm saying so but I'm just putting hundred mils so it's 500 mils of whiskey altogether and about 200 mils of the sugar syrup and we end up with a bottled old-fashioned I already have an infinity whiskey bottle that's where you just put the last little bits from whiskey bottles together into another bottle create your own blend because if you leave just little bits in bottles it can oxidize and lose the better elements of its taste so you end up with your own blend which is interesting and I like my current blend I have an infinite or an infinity freezer martini as well and I have a lot of fun with that just after I pour myself a couple martinis top it up with different gins and vermouths to keep it going it's a very dry freezer martini but its character continues to evolve so now I potentially have an infinity old-fashioned bottle uh, I, I might not do that I might simply drink this and then make a whole different one I might make it so like it goes down I might top it up with more whiskies and sugar and bitters of course yeah there's Angostura bitters in here as well about three quarters of an ounce in fact uh, so it, it does of course have Angostura bitters in it uh, because we need that in our old-fashioned but uh, enough talk time for taste um, mm, smells good I hope it's good those were expensive whiskies so just old-fashioned uh, glass double rocks glass Big old chunk of ice. That looks quite rich. Given myself a generous pour because I'm a generous man. And uh, oh, I want an orange twist on this. I love an orange twist in an old fashioned. This is a bit of blood orange peel. I've expressed some oils over the top. Wipe it around the glass so you get that orangey taste. And I'm just gonna drop it straight in. And you know what? Because this is special, I feel like treating myself. I think it should have a maraschino cherry as well. Here we are with my old fashioned and a garnish that counts as fancy for me because I'm not that big on garnishes, but more importantly, the taste. And I think I'll just swirl that in there. I'm actually gonna put the garnish in there. 
We've got a final stir on its chill and uh, bottoms up. Oh, mmm, my word, that's good. Oh, there's a lot going on there. The, uh, the sugar syrup uh, gives it slightly car caramelized and with brown sugar, it's very, very rich on that front. Uh, I am tasting some of the smoke notes from the Starwood Mesquite Smoked. Oh. There's rye spice in there. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to go out on a limb and go... This is going to depend on your personal taste. That might have been too much sugar syrup or too rich a sugar syrup. It's not bad, but if I were to say, would I change this? Maybe less of the sugar syrup or a less rich sugar syrup. Maybe even slightly more bitters, so this won't necessarily become an infinity bottle, but I think as I drink it down a bit, uh, I'm going to top it up with more whiskey uh, without adding any more sugar, and I suspect that might improve it. And in fact, because I've shot this video a long way in advance of when I was going to upload it, uh, potentially a week from now, I will post it uh, with the slightly modified Old Fashioned and give you a second tasty. And here we are, one week later. Uh, I will be keeping this in the fridge rather than the freezer. I've let it sit for the week, uh, just because lots of people said uh, more flavor sort of develops if you do that, so I've done that. I do notice, and I think this is a product of me using the brown sugar and cinnamon in the sugar syrup, there's a bit of sediment, which is not a bad thing. So I think before pouring it each time, I'll give it a little bit of a swirl so that's evenly spread throughout. Uh, and the other thing, not having, I, first I don't think an old fashioned should be freezer cold, but second, uh, I do want it to just dilute a little on the ice because that's what you usually do with an old fashioned. Uh, I'm not even gonna, blend it. I'm just gonna pour myself what looks like a good measure of my ice. I think that looks good. Oh, I think this deserves a garnish as well. I've expressed the orange peel over the top of the glass, sort of wiped it around the rim to get that orange oil action happening. Then, of course, it's an old fashioned. I'm not sure that most people think it's traditional, but I am just so into maraschino cherries since I got them. I like having one of them with it. Uh, and in fact, you know what? I'm just gonna, it looks prettier up there, but put it in here and give it a bit of a stir. Ice is too big, it won't go in, whatever. Now the garnish is probably gonna hit me in the face, but let's do a taste test. Ah, yes. All right, I think all the decisions I made were right. I tasted it the first time I made it, and it was good, but I think it was too sweet. So over the course of a day or two, I actually gave myself two serves of it anyway, just to be sure. And then I topped the bottle up with, in fact, a fourth type of whiskey, uh, Starwood's Nova Single Malt, added some more bitters, uh, some Angostura and some orange bitters, didn't add any more sweetener and put it aside. And I'm confident I made the right decision. This is... Oh yeah, no. Oh. This is my type of old fashioned. It's, uh, there's great whiskey flavors, the spice from the Angostura bitters, and I've toned down the sweetness a little. Uh, I am pretty happy with how this has turned out. And uh, if we weren't in lockdown in Melbourne, I could invite some friends over and I could serve them straight up out of the bottle. Uh, in all honesty, I'm probably not gonna drink that too fast. Be out of lockdown in a couple weeks and I will be able to invite a friend over. But this is just a fun little project and I think it's a good idea. There are a whole bunch of cocktails you can pre-batch. And hey, when your guests come over, Pour them straight out, no messing around. You're not spending all your time uh, shaking up and stirring up cocktails. You can just serve them up. Uh, <laughs> like I said, even if in this case, uh, I'm going to be the main beneficiary of this one. I think it's a good idea. And uh, I'd be interested if you've tried uh, bottled cocktails, making your own batched cocktails, what works best for you? 
and if there's any you'd like me to do in the future. The next one I'm going to do, I've already decided, is actually going to be a rum based one. I actually sounded out some friends, what should I do next? I have a freezer martini, which I never made a video about, uh, and this one, and the vote was to do something rum based. So I'm going to do a freezer daiquiri and we'll see how that goes. That should be live in a week or two on the channel. Uh, but in the meantime, I do hope you look after yourself and look after people around you. Until I see you again, cheers.